Hey there, Stefan Hoffmeister here from the Adobe Experience Manager podcast at Access 41. Today we're doing a video preview of the Adobe Target demo. We wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through some work that we did for the Adobe Target team recently. Over the last couple of months, we've created a demo of the Target tool for them to use when talking to potential customers. So as they released enhancements for the tool, we needed to modify it to make sure that it still worked. So let's take a few minutes to walk through this current system. Let's start here on the adobe-target.com site. The site is a landing page that is geared towards informing people about the Adobe Target product and then routing them to go through a product demo. This page has more information that I can cover in just this video, so feel free to look back afterwards. But let's go ahead and scroll down here and launch the demo. We're greeted by a welcome info page, basically telling us that the demo is for a range of users from beginners to the more experienced. It also states that in this demo, all the page changes that we will make will have no effects on the live sites. So rest assured, you can change anything you want without any real life implications. This demo is designed to show the ease of use for us, so the direction that we'll be taking will be highlighted. If you want to make changes to previous inputs, let's use the nav on the wizard bar and avoid our browser back buttons. To begin, come down here and click on Take the Test Drive and we're brought to our next step. Here we have to create an activity and like I said the path for us will be highlighted with these blue boxes usually with a little information inside. If you need a little extra clarity this green area on top here usually has more information on what we'll be doing. But an activity basically is a project. It helps with sharing and managing within the Adobe Marketing Cloud. Once the page loads, like it has, Let's go ahead and enter a name for our test. I'm going with target test 77. That sounds good. An objective, you can also add a little description of the test. Go ahead and click the continue button in the top right corner. And you're brought to choosing an audience. An audience helps determine who will take part in this experience. I I'm going to go with selecting all visitors and after clicking it it will automatically take me to adding to add an experience. To add an experience you have to click on this gray plus icon. I'm going to use this adobe-target.com default page because it's set to load automatically. I would encourage you to venture out and use your own sites. If you want to see if your site will work with the demo, enter it in this box here and then click on the continue button. Something to note is that some sites may not display exactly as they are in this tool and some may not display at all. Because we're doing a screen scrape to replicate the process that will happen. The way the real Adobe tool will work is that a piece of embedded code will be added to our site that will allow us to that will allow target to load the, your site correctly within the system. If you entered your own go ahead and click the continue button and it will prompt you to click on this gray icon. If you're just going to use the default page, let's go ahead and click on the globe icon twice and it will get rid of that box for us. Now before going on and clicking this blue check mark, let's go ahead and make some changes. I'm going to mouse over this tag here, right click, as you can see there are a lot of other options to do. I would encourage you to take some time and go through them. I'm going to go up to edit HTML and I'm going to change it to Adobe Target and oops, Adobe Target and you. Just hit save and it'll put it on the screen scrape for us. If you want, you can change other things. I think I'm going to do I'm going to do this one as well. Again, you right click on the title go up to edit HTML and you can put in start here very inviting um, you can explore these options like I said more by yourself mousing over anything and changing what you want again to note is that nothing you change in here will affect the live site on a side note after you're done and after it's all what you want come up here and click on the 
blue check mark and it'll bring you to here. The side note is that Adobe Target takes into account adding extra experiences. So if you want more than one, feel free to add another. But for the demonstration purposes, I'm only going to set up this one. And here we have the option to set up the percentage of people who will visit my control page. I am going to set the percentages higher on my test page so that more traffic flows to that one. And I'm going to set my control page lower. Once you have that set to how you would like, come up here and click on the continue button and you're brought to the goal page. Go ahead and name your goal. I'm going to name mine increased page views. And then your, su your success metric, I'm going to go with engagement and the action ah, page views. I will go with nine cents a page view. There's also another button down here that will let you add another metric, another uh, goal. After it's filled in, let's come up here and hit the blue continue button in the top right hand corner. And we're brought to setting our time and priority. I'm going to go with the when activated to deactivated time and priority. Like I said, there's more information up in this green area. So the priority allows for multiple tests at the same time. But for this demonstration, I'm only going to go with the one. So priority doesn't have an effect in here. Hit save and close. And you're brought to the Adobe Target Experience success stories. Uh, if you want, you can fill in this information here. And Adobe will contact you with any questions you may have about this target tool. Well, that's it. I hope that this has been helpful and has given you an overview of what the Adobe Target can do. If you have any questions about this or future podcasts, please contact us at info at aempodcasts.com. Thank you very much.